best memory is when I was at a snake dance last year and my hair caught on fire. <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you are just having the absolute best quarantine, but I wanted to share with you a case of a missing girl. She went missing two days ago, so I thought this was really important, and I want to thank Lex for sending me this on Instagram so that I could cover it. Due to the fact that this case is so recent and it's so urgent that people look out for her, this is going to be a voiceover, and I just want to apologize in advance for the sound kind of being louder in some areas. I tried to even it out, but I also failed, so yeah. Madison Noel Bell went missing two days ago from Ohio. I need to raise as much awareness as I can for this beautiful recent high school graduate. These photos and videos that you are going to see of Madison in her cap and gown were posted to her mother's Facebook on May 10th. So that is nine days ago today, seven days before she went missing. Madison's mother has been updating everyone with their search efforts and just whether or not they have found her. Obviously, at this point, they have not found her. I will be reading personal statements posted to Facebook by Madison's mother, but that will come up in a few minutes after I get some of the really important ground details out of the way. So Madison Noel Bell is an 18-year-old female who was living in the the Greenville, Ohio area, who was last seen leaving her home on May 17th, 2020 at about 10 a.m. Her vehicle was later found the same day on Sunday in a church parking lot. She is white, about 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing around 125 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes, but she occasionally wears gray or blue contacts. She was just in a t-shirt and black leggings with a North Face jacket and brown sandals, and not for sure, but she also may have been wearing Star Wars pants at the time of her disappearance. So she told her mother that she was going to go to the tanning salon and that she would be right back. It's super important to note that she was always in constant contact with her mother whenever she left the house. She always came right back after going to this tanning salon. She would occasionally stop by McDonald's to get an iced coffee, but even when she would make a stop like that, she would call her mom and let her know that she would be a few minutes late. So once a few hours went by, her mother understandably was super worried. This was posted May 16th at 11.59 a.m., less than 24 hours before Melissa would last see her daughter before she went to that salon. I want to post a shout out to our family and friends who have sent Maddie things in the mail or dropped off special surprises. Those who've sent her encouraging words, even her former teachers who have sent special notes of wisdom and advice. To a note that Maddie wrote to herself in sixth grade for her senior year that her former sixth grade teacher saved and sent to her upon graduation. Feel completely free to pause this video and read the rest of what her mother wrote. I wanted to read some of it so that you guys would get the idea that Maddie is a super great student, loved by her peers, her family, and even her teachers. Along with that, Madison has been dating the same guy for four years 
hers and it really doesn't make sense for her to just up and leave a few days after graduating high school. Madison's mother posted this to Facebook on May 17th at 12 14 p.m. about two hours after the last time she saw her daughter. Please keep your eye out for my daughter Madison. She left to go tanning this morning and has not been seen since. Please contact me immediately if you've seen or heard from her. I personally shared this on my Facebook page and I encourage you guys to go to Melissa Montavon's Facebook page. It's completely public and also share this post. Even if you do not live near Greenville, Ohio or the Midwest area at all, even if you live in like Canada, you mean we don't know where she is. If someone took her, they could be driving across the country, driving to another country. We, we really aren't sure. So I want everyone to look out for her. A few hours later at 3.18 p.m., her mother posted, we did not find her yet. Please don't stop looking. Someone posted we found her. Please don't post untrue things as this could jeopardize the search for her. Thank you and continue searching. Instead of just sharing the facts that I learned about this case, I want to first read the post once again by her mother where she went really in depth to what they know about Maddie's disappearance. So I'm going to read that for you now. This was posted yesterday, which was Monday, May 18th, 2020. Current update, we still have not found Maddie. She was last seen by us. Leaving home at approximately 10 a.m. to go tanning at Country Corner Market on 51720. For some reason, she didn't make it to the tanning salon. Her car was found at the Good Shepherd Church, located off 28 in close proximity to Corner Market. I'm going to pause her mother's statement right here to tell you what I learned about this place. I was able to find the Country Corner Market's Facebook page and basically from what I could see from their pictures on their page, they are a boutique slash restaurant slash a lot of different things. While I was looking through their page, I saw something that surprised me and it really shouldn't have because we're finishing up a pandemic, hopefully finishing up a worldwide pandemic currently. And on the 15th, so two days before Madison went missing, the governor of Ohio mandated that some certain places did not have to remain closed during this end of this quarantine. And tanning salons slash tanning beds are one of the places that the governor was allowing people to visit so she went tanning two days after it reopened and then this happened it's just heartbreaking and I thought it was extremely sweet that the country corner market posted on their own Facebook page and it just seems like this community is really coming together and now I will be continuing Melissa's statement I cannot give a description of what she was wearing I was cleaning when she changed clothes and left and yelled mom I'm going to tan and I'll be right back she would never be even a few minutes late from wherever she was going without calling or texting me. A couple people saw a tall white male, approximately late 20s to early 30s, who was in the church parking lot before 10 a.m. with a white car that people are assuming was a Nissan sedan, but that has not been completely confirmed. But this man had a polo shirt on and his car on both the back and the front of the car had California license plates. As this white car pulled out of the church parking lot, witnesses said it headed towards Leesburg. Now, Leesburg is over an hour away from Greenville, where Maddie lives. Maddie kind of lives in the middle of Ohio, but all the way to the west in Leesburg is southeast from there. Her car was found unoccupied, unlocked, windows up, and keys in the ignition, and her phone was laying in the car. She would never leave these items in the car. We don't know how her car got there, where she was coaxed to pull in. As a mom, I'm thinking whoever this was flagged her down and she thought she knew them, but didn't once she pulled in. She doesn't have any social media other than Facebook and Facebook Messenger. They have a search party looking for her, which will continue tomorrow. Please continue to pray for her safe return as we are all devastated. Maddie, if you're out there, come home. We love you so much and are worried sick. Whomever has her, please let her call or message me and please bring her back to her family. We are relentless and will find her. Thank you to all our family and community members who have went above and beyond to help search for her. This is her graduation week and she wouldn't want to miss out on this time for anything and I know she's been looking forward to it. Please lift our family and Maddie up in your prayers and continue to search. I'm sorry I cannot possibly answer every message or text or Facebook post, but I appreciate you all. Now, let's find her and bring her home. 
And very early this morning, Melissa Montalban posted her most recent update. Almost 48 hours of no sleep. I can't rest my mind until Maddie is home safe. I'll never give up searching for her. The overwhelming response from our community, family, friends, and strangers has been nothing short of amazing, and we are so grateful. At this point, I don't have any further information, and we ask that you continue to keep Maddie and her family in your prayers. Unfortunately, at this moment, that is all of the information that I can give you guys. I will be posting any updates that I find on this case in the comments of this video, so be sure to come back and check it out. Please keep Maddie, her boyfriend, her friends, and her family in your thoughts as we hopefully find her.